So I'm recording this video for two reasons. One, to show you the beautiful view out my window. It was gorgeous before, but now that it's night time, oh, it's just stunning. Just so gorgeous. I love a good city view. And then the other reason is much less exciting, but I've just, uh, a couple of hours now I've known, but um, I've been in conversations with Spoon and he and Jess are not coming anymore, so I am actually on my own for the rest of this trip, which kind of sucks. Sucks for Jess and Spoon that they can't, they're not coming, but really sucks for me. I don't know, I just, I guess I have to do what I have to do, but I would have, I guess I would have just really liked to have travelled with my best friend and a partner, like, that was the whole plan, it's been there for a year and... Oh, I don't know, it's just really frustrating. I just... Like, I understand why they're not coming and... I understand that... If she didn't come, if she did come, they'll forever regret it because, you know, it is Jess's grandmother that's sick and... You have to put your... It's one of those things that if something happens while she's over here and she wasn't there, she'd regret it forever. It does just suck. What does one do in Vegas by themselves? I'm all over New Orleans, I can do New Orleans by myself. What does one do in Vegas by themselves? But there's potential that they'll catch up with me later, but I'm not liking the chances of it. So if anyone out there wants to come on a holiday, the rooms are all booked. You just have to pay for your own flights. But anyway, that's my disappointing news of the day, but I don't blame anyone for it. And it's an unavoidable thing and we'll get through it, but yeah, kind of sucks. But anyway, what do we do?